than last time. It might not have saved. I'm not going to loot all the bodies because you know how long that would take? All the bodies I killed over here. I want to say I think it's like 350 for that repeater I want. Actually, wait a minute. I might be doing this for nothing. Can I just fast travel there? Oh, yeah. I could use the taxi, too. Stranger. Once they get out of those area of all these hills and stuff, I'll probably call my horse. Because right now it's kind of hard to navigate the horse with all, all these cliffs and stuff around. Find a good place to drop from without getting hurt too bad. Or not. Uh, I could just fall and die anyway. Okay, well that sucked. Well, the good thing is now I I can actually go back and actually teleport. Or not teleport. Uh, Fast travel back to the, the Marshall place. All right, now I gotta find out where the uh, all right, stagecoach taxi's right there, so it's gotta go forward. Here he is. Oh, I don't want to do that. Fuck. I don't want to do that. Fuck. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna load the game because I'm not gonna have it. Com I'm not. I didn't want to commit a crime. I did, I thought I didn't think they're gonna pull him out like that. That sucks. Alright, let me just make sure I don't do that fucking quest again. I have to herd the cattle. I don't think so. Hey, right, Spelunky's done. I actually might play that today too, guys. If you guys want to see some Spelunky. Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarlane. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, 
My daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, and terrible winters, cholera. I very more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace. And men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. That sneaking around and spying and secret missions. Huh? It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. Right, now you got some rope on your belt. Let's see if we can't wrangle some horses. This is gonna be fun. I don't know about this, guys, I don't know. Interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret who sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches would steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy but the I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. And there's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. Damn it. Hold on, Martin. Don't lose him. <laughs> All right, boy. Now see if you can break it. Keep holding that rope. That's it. Don't give up. Take oh, my God. Here we go. Keep at it, Mr. Marston. Relax. Come on. Let's go. Don't Come on, now, cowboy. Don't oh, see it, boy. Oh. Damn it. Oh. Come on, don't be afraid of that last rope. Come on. Oh, oh, down. Come on, boy. Get after another one. Easy now. 
Come on. How did I lose him? Let's go. No, I don't want to do that. I wanted to. Nice and steady now. You're You're doing fine. Lean into it. Show me what you I've got. I've got you now. Come on, come on, time. come on. Well, this don't feel too good. Come on, baby. Calm down. Steady. Oh shit. Nice, he did it. I gotta do another one? Aw, oh, come on. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. No rest for the wicked. Let's see if we can track down that other herd of horses. Uh, so now we do this again, basically, but with you know, wild ones out that are lost. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. So, I suppose. Here and there, a ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses Paul hired to save us from being savages. I'd like to talk about more than just cattle and chickens sometimes, that's all. And after my brother left, it was up to me to become the man of the ranch. He'd never admit it, but my pa's a lot frailer than he looks. You're worth two of any man I know, miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's drive them up the canyon where it narrows. We'll trap them there.
Alright, we're nearly there. Move. Yeah, there we go. Whew. Jesus Christ. What the? Ah! Looks like we got the lot of them. What magnificent animals they are. God damn it, put me in he literally put me in circles right now. Ah, you bastard. He stopped for a little bit, so you can actually, like, rope him, but... There we go. Nice, all right. Come on. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Wow, oh, six horses, damn. Come. Yeah, this is definitely, yeah, the hanging rock. This is definitely unexplored territory. Oh, it's actually a good thing too. I'm going back to the town because I can actually see if they have any new weapons or anything else available. This horse has some mad good stamina too. Damn, we can keep pushing it. <laughs> 